Welcome to System Test 15 with board number one. I have some miscellaneous devices installed for this video, and as always, we'll be testing out each and every one. Um, this system test is actually going to be a little bit different because I will have a part two of this test over on my second channel. And if you haven't heard of that channel, it's called Easy250, and that's a place where I post random videos from time to time. So in this video, it will be my normal system test. And over on my second channel, the part two will be um, where I do a walk test of both of these systems. I've never done that before on camera with either of my demo boards, so I thought that'd be something kind of different and fun to do. So if you're interested in that, check that out after this video. I will have a link in the description and at the end of this video. So anyways, let's get started and see what I have installed for this test. So on the addressable system, I have an STI push station underneath an STI mini stopper. So pretty cool. I like this combination of devices. It looks nice. The addressable Firelight BG12LX as normal. I have both of the Firelight monitor modules. Here is a System Sensor Spectra Alert Advanced Remote Strobe. I think the model is SW and it's on 30 Candela. I then have a Wheelock LED Exceder Strobe. This one is branded by Eaton, and Eaton actually owns Wheelock, so that's why they do that. I think this is on 15 Candela, if I can recall correctly, and this is one of the few LED fire alarm devices I have in my collection, so pretty cool. I then have a Simplex heat detector. I forget the model. Let me check it out. It is... Uh... 4098-9401 and this is a rate of rise and fixed temperature heat detector. I actually got this from Fire Alarm Dude 5967 and he melted the plastic on it when he tested it before he shipped it to me so very nice of him to do that. <laughs> Anyways so just a little jab at him. Um, then I have my Firelight SD355 addressable photoelectric smoke detector. To the conventional system I have an older Honeywell pull station. I think the model of this is like S464A or something, or I could be confusing my models completely, but it's an older pull station. Looks pretty cool. And then I have a Gamewell Century. I've always liked these pull stations. Simplex key switch. Then I have my Wheelock Bell strobe. And then I have a Simplex 9838 semi flush horn on a Simplex 4904 something something strobe plate. Fun fact, these strobes were actually manufactured by Gentex way back in the day. And kind of to match this, I have an older Simplex smoke detector. I think the model of this is 2098 something. I'll check that out. Of course the panel is going to go into trouble. It is model number 2098-9202. And it's a combination smoke and heat detector. The heat detector is missing its little disc thing on it, but I don't think that should affect operation too bad. It's a photoelectric smoke detector. And then I have a System Sensor 1400 ionization smoke detector. It's pretty much the counterpart to the System Sensor 2400s that are photoelectric. The Wheelock Bell and 9838 are on March time, while the Exceder LED is on Code 3. So let's begin with this system by pushing the STI push station. Oops, stopper came off. Here we go. Here's something cool um, that this panel is able to do. This is a two-wire device, but it actually is able to do two-wire audible silence through this panel with Wheelock Sync, which is pretty cool. And I don't know why, but it doesn't look like this strobe is flashing on camera to me, so it is flashing in real life though. Let's reset the push station, and then we will try out the heat detector. And I'll actually reset the system too. Okay, the system is reset and back to normal. Let's test out the Simplex heat detector with a hair dryer. Okay. 
And the LED on the heat detector only comes on when it is in alarm, so it doesn't pull like other smoke detectors do. Uh, we're gonna let that cool down, but in the meantime, let's activate one of these, and I'm thinking the Honeywell pull station. So here we go. Here we go, audible silence also. And uh, that strobe is very dim. Let's reset this pull station. And the way you do that is you get a tiny flathead screwdriver and stick on the top. Kind of opens up like that. And then you flip the switch up and then close it. And it's back to normal. I think that heat detector's cooled down, so we will reset both systems now. Reset this system using the enunciator. And reset this system. Huh, that was weird. <laughs> that chirped for a second. Now let's have a battle between the Simplex photoelectric smoke and the system sensor ionization smoke to see which one will activate first. I'm going to link both of these systems together. So now if this one goes off, that one will go off. And we'll test both using the smoke saber, smoke in a can. So let's try it out. Looks like this smoke detector beat the ionization, which is pretty expected because photoelectric smoke detectors are much better than ionization models, but this one activated uh, a little bit after, so that's good though, both of them work. Um, let's see, uh, while this is airing out, let's pull the Century. Okay, get that key, reset that. I'm going to unlink the systems now, reset this panel, and then let's reset the game wall century, which is sometimes tricky on camera. Oops, see, just like that. Okay, and hopefully both of those are aired out because we are resetting the system. Now let's do something a little bit crazy, and that is setting these on continuous. So let's see if I can do it quickly. See, it's on March time. Go to steady, which is continuous. And we'll test those out with the simplex key switch, since I haven't used that yet. So system's ready, and I'm ready for my ears to be blown out. That's loud. <laughs> Okay, enough of that. Let's, uh, if I can get my key in, let's reset the system once again. And call that the end of this system test. But hey, technically it's not the end, because we still have part two, where I will do a walk test of both of the systems. So go check that out if you're interested. That will conclude system test 15 with board number one. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought was the coolest device in this video. And make sure to check out part two, 
And yeah, so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.